Coogan Cassis, IFL TV, MTK Global. We're at the O2 here for British Beef. We're joined by Frank Bullioni. I can't go anywhere in the boxing world without bumming into Coogan. Somewhere, I'm, I'm, I'm around somewhere. <laughs> That's it. Now, you, friendly face, I like to see you. Absolutely. Grown the, the old beard, Frank. Do you know what? I've just been thick in training camp and uh, I haven't had a haircut or a shave for about four weeks. So, yeah, I'm, I'm dishevelled. How's things going? Uh, preparation for Callum Johnson on the 24th of March? Yeah, very well, thanks, Coogan. Um, had some had some good quality sparring just to kind of build myself into it. Um, at Miles Shinkman in house. Um, then we've got we've got a few other light heavies and we've got um, Luke Watkins, uh, who's the Commonwealth Cruiserweight champion. So we've got him coming in. Um, yeah, we've got some got some good names lined up and uh, guys that kind of replicate and pose similar threats to what Callum Johnson does. So yeah, we, we leave no stone unturned and make sure we're we're ready for the job in hand. Obviously, speaking to you a few weeks ago. You know, I've got that feeling from you that you've got serious intent for 2018 yeah. and kind of not just kind of wanting to win but put, putting a, a real stamp on the division. Yeah, I think I, I hold a very strong hand at the moment and uh, I'm biding my time when to play it. And uh, just got to keep maintaining, keep keep maintaining the consistency in the winning fights. There you go. And uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be ready to do some serious damage this year. Now, obviously I interviewed uh, Mr... Hello. <laughs> interviewed Mr. Anthony Yard the other day yes. and he had quite a bit to say actually about you. It's probably the most vocal I've seen him um, talk about you. Listen, I, I, there's, there's no insecurities here so I want to be honest. I sat, I sat through the, the 25 minute video and uh, had a good laugh to myself and I enjoyed the 25 minute video and uh, I know they like to go around saying that they haven't seen any of my fights or they don't do this or they don't do that but listen, we, I'm in boxing. If people are talking about me, if potential rivals are there, I'll watch them and I'll study them. And uh, Anthony Yard's no different. But, I mean, like I said, the, the emphasis around the conversation wasn't meant to be solely about you, but it turned yeah. out to be yeah. kind of heavily based around you. Yeah. And uh, but the message seems to be clear that that's the fight they want is with you. That's absolutely fine. Um, the, the biggest thing that they sidestepped, um, the biggest thing that they didn't answer properly, was um, they pulled out of the final eliminator. That wasn't me that put it to them, that was the British Board of Control, and they can't get their heads around that. So for me, they're either ignorant or they're stupid, and it's not a good mix. Um, the other thing where they come out with that, I, that really annoyed me was um, they didn't want to fight Jose Burton because I'd knocked him out. But they then tried to fight Ricky Summers, who I'd beat convincingly over 12 rounds. So if the whole um, issue was not fighting someone that I dealt with, why go for Ricky Summers? So that says it all to me. They, it shows them what they are. They're cowards. They didn't want to fight with Jose Burns because they knew that he was all wrong for them. But just come out and say it. Just admit it. Um, but you'll get your time and I'll, uh, I'll serve you up proper. All right, well, listen, we're at the box in here, so you have a good night. And I'm sure this is going to... Coogan, you got me riled up talking about him. I'm gonna, uh... Have you got anything else you'd like to add, Frank? I mean, look, the fighting is just about to start, so I do need to kind of cut this in a second, but is there anything else you'd like to add, Frank? Before when the time comes, I'm going to smash your head in. And as simple as that, I'm going to win the Commonwealth, I'm going to beat my, my, uh, my fourth undefeated challenger in Callum Johnson, I'm going to sit history, and I'm going to take another row, and that's going to be Anthony Yards, and I'm going to smash him to pieces. On that note, Frank Brilliani, thank you very Good much for talking to IFL TV.